take a check on the team news for you. Leon made just the one change from the team that beat Bordeaux nine days ago with the exclusion of Eugenie Le Sommer. She failed a fitness test this morning. So Selma Bacic comes into the side with Sakina Kashui moving forward to left wing. Pointed it out. And Irina Paredes, the Spaniard, two of the best centre halves in the world. Stephanie Frappa, who will be off to the European Championships in the summer as part of the French delegation in the men's competition. Widely regarded as one of the best referees in French football. No one quite knows what to do these days in terms of handshakes, hugs and fist bumps. Stars apart from 21 goal top scorer Marie Antoinette Katoto, who has a thigh problem. She is watching on in the stands. Everyone set. And some big names in the house as well. Silence at the group hammer. What a game it would have been with a huge crowd inside this fine stadium. Both sides ready. And uh, a false start. Such as the eagerness for Paris Saint-Germain to get after their opponents. A clash of the titans on the big stage at the Group Hammer. Paris Saint-Germain ended Lyon's five-year dominance in the Champions League and are looking to end it in France after 14 successive top-flight titles. Can they finally get that elusive division uh, crown tonight? Or will Lyon take it to the final day? The next 90 minutes will be fascinating as two of the world's best teams face off. Although already we have a break in play. And a slight issue here for Pel Moroni, the Paris Saint-Germain left-back. Back with Christian Enler, who is widely expected to join Lyon at the end of this campaign. Another ball into the channel here and one for Sondi Baltimore to chase straight away. PSG have won their last 18 games in a row since the 13th of September. They haven't lost a game since November 2019, some 561 days ago. In contrast, Lyon, Bon Pastor there, the coach, they have won their last 51 home matches in the competition. Back here with Guadi. Renard. That ball catching PSG out there. And that high boot will give the away side a free kick. As Paredes was caught. No contact on the head, but maybe slightly further down 
on the thigh and Stephanie Frappard just having a word here with Jennifer Marajat, the Germany international, who is Leon's creator in chief. 13 assists she's chipped in with this season. Just a bit more context. Leon have scored 17, conceded just six this season. PSG have scored 80 and conceded just four. There are two teams in their own league at the top of Division 1. Paredes. Not who's expected to be on the move, actually, at the conclusion of this season. Plenty of links with a return to Spain for her and Barcelona, the newly crowned European champions, of course, having put four past Chelsea. Her family reasons cited for that move as much as footballing ones. Leon not afraid to take risks. And neither PSG, they got plenty of praise in the first fixture between the two for really taking the game to Leon, not sitting back and inviting Leon onto them. But it is Leon here who are looking to create. Back there and intercepting was Gras Guerrero. Paredes. Back with the Chilean Endler. Nicely worked by PSG. Baltimore. Backman, Brun in the middle. Baltimore in, it's going to come through here, early chance, and it's a great save there by Buadi. Kadidia to Diani, coming on to that one. Diani having her best season in front of goal, 13 times she's found the back of the net in the league this season. It was a loose touch away actually initially by Buadi, but she managed to recover second time around. The vastly experienced 34-year-old. Renat. What an open game already here. Make inroads forward was Pearl Moroni. Got the fourth and final goal away at France. Friday before last, a 4 0 win. Endla wanting to go long. Both sides looking confident in possession. Kadisha yeah. Buchanan doing well there. Renat. Of course, Leon's success this season hasn't been helped by the continued absence of Ada Hegerberg. There's a broken leg that after an ACL injury. It's been a troubled couple of years for her, to say the least. Leon have it. And a chance here for Ellie Carpenter. Endler was never going to drop that one.
Lawrence being pushed back here. This is a very warm evening here in Lyon. Temperature around 20 degrees at kickoff. And a pretty chilled build up actually for Paris Saint Germain, who decided to take the train down. Of course, the links very good in France from the capital down to Lyon. The board games are out on the train. Selena Macario with an early one, Paredes with a slice, and Leon have a corner. Leon have to get something here tonight. They cannot lose this game. It'll be an in swinger from this right hand side. In swing it does. It was a good ball in there, but goal kick given by Stephanie Frappa. Didn't quite reach Renard in the end, and Paredes was in there, so was Kadisha Buchanan. And it doesn't get the distance. But it's to Diani. Able to release her teammate here, Ramona Bachman. A Swiss forward taking it here to Lyon. Taken off her, though, by her opposite number, Amel Majri. Great tempo in the early stages here at the Group Hammer. And uh, not convincing. Not by a long shot. After a quick start here by PSG, Leon slowly getting a grip on this one. Close to being a foul throw. Paredes not messing around. Back into the path of Amandine Henri, but she gives it away. Baltimore. Nice ball to release Moroni. Options ahead of her, Baltimore. Straight at the goalkeeper, Sara Buadi. Had options square. It's going to have to be a good strike from that angle to beat the goalkeeper. Leon coming forward, but Enler had the time and space to grab it at the second attempt. It's Katarina Macario made inroads forward. Very much in form right now. Six in her last six games. Brun getting after this one, but Leon able to bring it away. Every player played their part in that in that team. Um, Tuima, you know, a brilliant 41 metre uh, penalty kick. Uh, there's so many players here which have worked. Sean Michel Olas on the left hand side there. The president of Lyon, the French team, O.L. Reign, out in Seattle, he is the chairman of. Le Sommer, Bouadi and Marajan all joining the American side on loan once the French season ends until the end of the calendar year. It's 
certainly been a sharing of talent between the two sides in recent years. Rena. Possession fairly evenly split so far. Enla given time to play. Dudek. Mejri. There is Leonardo. Who is the current sporting director? Actually, replaced Bruno Sheru, the former Liverpool player, but he left in May of last year. Leonardo took over, but it is widely reported that Ulrich Ramek, currently of Bordeaux, is going to come in to look after the women's team on a full time basis. But with that, it is also reported that with Olivier Eshuafni's deal up next month, he is expected to leave with actually former Lyon coach Gerard Pechur set to come in. A man who's won three top tier titles before. So a summer of change, I was saying. But Leonardo has the reins for now. Too much for Baltimore. Bon Pastor happy with what she's seeing. She had a loan spell as a player with Paris Saint-Germain in the 2009-10 season. Dudek with a vital touch back there to Enla. Been named in the Poland squad for their upcoming games against Finland and Czech Republic. There's an international window on the way. Baltimore always with plenty of space on this left hand side, but they haven't always found it. Of course, lots of players now fighting for their places with their countries ahead of the. Olympic Games, which is still set to take place in Japan at the end of July. That's the latest, anyway. Despite COVID-19 still being a real problem out in the Far East. The key to Paris, the England winger, has been named in the GB squad. She's on the bench tonight, as is Jodie Taylor for Lyon. Harris is actually Leon's top scorer this season with 11 goals, though plenty of those came in one game earlier on in the campaign. So, statistic though it is, isn't one particularly reflective of their whole campaign. Renard takes it clear. Carpenter. She's carried on her run. She may be found as well. Carpenter on site. Parade is in the right place at the right time. Free kick Leon. Rush challenge there on Delphine Cascadino.
T'as dit, t'as dit, tout à l'heure t'étais super bien là, faut qu'elle te trouve à l'intérieur, de temps en temps. Rena, unsurprisingly forward. Scored five goals against Paris Saint Germain over the years. Macario bouncing in an inviting area there, but the run from Buchanan wasn't well timed. Rena. Cario trying to help it on. A little bit frantic here for Paris Saint Germain. Henri. Dudek easily away. Moroni nicely finding Baltimore. And uh, <laughs> slightly awkward collision there. One which has left her severely hurt, and one which took out Olivia Eshuafni as well. A real painful one. Really distressing for her. Landed on her arm. Some real concern for her down there. That could be a nasty one on that shoulder joint. And seemingly, it's actually a side that she's really injured there. Will be a throw in, and Stephanie Frapp are keen to get on with things here. They will be slightly winded as well, the PSG winger. I think, come what may, she'll be OK. We're back underway. Cascarino. Offside. Shuafni just having a word with fourth official Maika uh, van der Stich. You can see it was clearly offside. Baltimore back with us. There'll be plenty of bumps and bruises along the way tonight, that's for sure, with so much at stake. Lawrence back to Enler. Dudek has to be careful. Just about gets away with that one. Moroni caught, free kick. Very tidy player, Pearl Moroni, as she's showed tonight. Said to be on the way to Bayern in Germany at one point, though their interest is supposedly called, and Chelsea appear to be on the scene. See what happens in the next few months, I imagine. WSL, of course, a league that many players aspire to play in. Such a competitive league. Here come PSG. Oh, it's spilled there. Baltimore leaves it as it's fired in by Ramona Bachman. It was Ellie Carpenter there to deny it.
Not great handling again there by Sanapuadi. Baltimore's corner. A clash inside the area. Nothing doing. Leon, though, with Renard down. It would be remiss of the referee not to stop the game due to the fact she'd be playing everyone on side. And another chance for both sets of players to catch their breath. This was the clash inside the penalty area. Watch Renard. It was actually Dudek who was running towards her. She thought that she was pulled down. Renard will be OK. She's only 30 years old. She's been in the game such a long time. She joined Leon back in 2006. Hasn't looked back. The success has kept on coming for her. And Sonia Bonpastor will hope the success keeps on coming for her as well. Was in charge of the academy before she stepped up to take the head coach position. Pointed as Leon's first female coach by Jean-Michel Olas and Vincent Ponceau, the director of football. He's got a contract until 2023. It's a big deal for the side losing to Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. They actually won one nil up in the capital thanks to a penalty from Wendy Grenard, but we're beating 2-1 here. But is he have given it away? Ball into the channel, which Endler should deal with. Back off Basha. Still plenty of football to bring you on BT Sport before the European season is done, though tomorrow morning it's an early start for action from Australia in the A-League as Western United hosts MacArthur, that one from 10am on 1HD. Notts County against Chesterfield in the National League playoffs next Saturday is a 3.30 start on 2HD. And then on Sunday... The action keeps on coming as we head to the northeast to Victoria Park for Hartlepool against Bromley. That one starting at two o'clock on 3HD. <laughs> 19 minutes left of this first half. Given what is at stake, certainly for PSG this evening. I think both sides will be relatively happy with what they've offered so far. Leon offering a little bit more, but so far at least, Christian Endler hasn't been forced into a major save. She's just clear here towards Baltimore. Loose touch to get the ball to Guerra. Moroni. Leon ball. Endler, with her decision to come, just about justified in the end, though she was running out of space. <laughs> An 
out of ball, always belting more, and she's away again here. Leon, though, with bodies well positioned to deal with her cross. You can on that time, but PSG still with players forward. Diani deflected for a Paris Saint Germain corner. Going out there of Amandine Henri. A former PSG player in Leon's ranks. That's off Renner, I beg your pardon, it was. Paredes up there, among others. Bawadi made her decision early. Not the kind of game you want to miss, that's for sure. Whole season has been building towards this moment. And I guess for Paris Saint Germain, their whole existence really. Now there to mop up, but not a great ball. Bred there and brought inside by Carpenter, who needs no invitation to get forward. Play halted by. The referee here. Second word with Elena Paredes. Not happy with something that she said. Eight times PSG have been runners up in this division, including each of the last three years. Of course, play was halted early last year, and Leon given the championship despite the fact that they'd only played 16 games. Three points clear of PSG then, five points clear the year before, eight points clear the year before that. So there's clearly progression there for Paris Saint-Germain. Tonight could be the night it all comes to fruition for them. Carino can't find a gap. Basha. Carpenter. There's a low one in there from Jennifer Marisha. Dudek having to take action there at the near post. Not the greatest of clearances, but a corner it shall be. Marashan looking to land this one near Wendy Krenar, you would imagine. It's hung up. Moroni away, only so far as Marashan. Wasn't kept alive, it's a goal kick here to PSG. A bit of sustained pressure there, though. Well, Marjorie's effort causing a few problems there inside the PSG penalty area. Just a reminder, that is how things are at the top of the division. And with both sides expected to win their final game of the season. That is why this game tonight is so pivotal. I yeah, want the free kick. PSG won the opener. Diani. Tucked back by Buchanan. Oh, 
Nice turn by Sakina Kashui. We haven't seen too much off so far. Renard on the charge. She's playing her own game. Cascarino. Carpenter. Taken away from her, and Leon have five ahead of the ball here. Baltimore has an option on the outside here in Pearl Moroni. It's early from Baltimore, but played fairly blindly there. Buadi able to take charge. She was hoping that her teammates were going to be in there. Side of Bruno Backman. PSG ball. So they try and get in Leon's faces again. Pointing out that since February 2011, so in over 10 years, they've lost just 15 away games. Nine of them have been at Lyon. These battles always so intense and often close affairs. Have been in recent years anyway. Leon did beat PSG 5-0 in the city back in April 2019. And a yellow card here from Stephanie Frappa. First of the game. And it's Sondi Baltimore who receives it. Clear push there on Carpenter. Not helping herself and not helping her side. Ten to go until half time. And it comes in the header on target there from Amandine Henri. But no problem for Enla. Cause of concern for both sides here. Is it an eye injury or certainly upper cheek? Let's try and see here where it occurred. Oh, it was a clash of heads, wasn't it? Between Dudek and Henri. Henri, the captain of France, their national side. A chance for Sonia Bonpastor to get some more important instructions across. She's actually the only coach who have also worked in men's football when she took charge of France in the 2014-15 season. Two-time Champions League winner herself and six-time French League champion with Lyon. Twice she also won it with Montpellier. She certainly knows what it takes at this level. Only picked up around 156 caps for France as well. One of the most decorated players in the game. I don't think Henri's face will be looking too decorated in the morning after that clash. She's still feeling the pain, but it's going to soldier on. Slip through and a chance here now. Diani angle against that. It may not matter. Into the arms of Buadi. Haven't been too many sights of goal so far for Signe Bru. Four goals 
in her last three appearances now. Just denied there by the defender who was back with her. Lawrence. One of two Canadians in the PSG squad. Jordan Quitema is on the bench. She sustained. Moroni. Baltimore urged to drive here at Leon again. She won't, but Bachman will. Sweeper keeper Buadi. Basha. They try to play in the channels here, Leon. Always got it right. And a confident keeper playing behind them, if nothing else. That's better. And this may carry through here. Parade is trying to get there. In the end, it came to nothing for Leon, but a moment there for PSG to worry about at least. It was a great driving run from midfield. The ball wasn't intended as it ended up, but the finish wasn't there as it was put over by Sakina Kashui. Left back by Trey, but playing high up on the left hand side tonight. Four years with Chelsea. Free kick, Paris Saint Germain. And ball there against Carpenter. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. very tight game in Lyon it could just take a goal tonight no one wants to be that player to make a mistake in this kind of game to all the hard work that both sides have put into this campaign in the most testing of circumstances already in the touch Baltimore. Bachman. They keep moving in here, PSG. And for their efforts, they'll get themselves a corner. Salah Dabritz well forward there. Leon, with just about everyone back here to defend, it's going to be Backman centre. Boadi there with an easy play. Wasn't put under enough pressure by Paris Saint Germain. Like a good ball into Kashui. And again now. Oh, 
frustration for Grasquero. No one has come up with that moment of quality so far. Have been glimpses of goal for both teams. Stretching out her arms, annoyed that there's no option ahead of her there. The thigh of Duda. Carnio pushing her right back. Doesn't really have an out ball here. Oh, that was a loose touch. Both goalkeepers have had their moments at times. Keeping the nervous tension high for those fans watching at home. That's a nice ball into Ramona Bachman. Couldn't keep it down. Looking for her first goal since she scored against Sparta Prague back in March. It's a fairly loose take and a wild effort on her weaker side. I imagine we'll have a couple, if not three minutes of additional time at the end of this first half. We have had a number of stoppages. He was taken out at one point. Just the one minute added on. Probably deserves a tad more than that, but 60 seconds it shall be. Although maybe a touch more now. This result, as things stand, probably not good enough for Lyon. PSG would rather get the job done here tonight and have that title win confirmed, but a 0-0 draw is still pretty good, considering they still have another game to go. Out of Moroni. That'll do for the first half, no goals, no real clear-cut chances, I don't think, at either end. A few speculative efforts, a few half chances, ultimately no goals, and Leon really... And we're back underway. Juarez joining us, PSG in the blue, Leon in the white, both sides in their traditional home colours. here in this stadium, which has plenty of history in terms of the women's game, hosted the semi-finals and final of the 2019 Women's World Cup here in France. And is also set to host the football competition, in part at least, at the Paris 2024 Olympic Games in a few years' time. Of course, which is far bigger in the women's game than it is in the men's. Size missing at least one key player who could have played tonight. Eugenie Le Sommer for Lyon. And Marie Antoinette Cototo missing for PSG. For Mija also missing for Le Parisien. She's picked up a knock and was a doubt coming into this one. The 43 year old still going strong. Renat in heart. 
And the ball over the top here, nearly releasing Delphine Cascadino. It was just one yellow card in the first half. That was shown to Sondi Baltimore. He was named the most promising young player in the whole league when the awards were announced last week. Christiane Endler named the best goalkeeper as the ball is sent into her penalty area there. Player of the Year awarded to Kadidia to Diani, the PSG winger. Baltimore. Three on three here. Baltimore. Diani's in there. Didn't reach her. Dudek stepping in. PSG in no rush to go forward there. Baltimore could have driven at the defender. Attention needed here after Stephanie Frappard's assessment. Painful one there for young Selma Basha. Who her coach Sonia Bompastor knows all about. She actually fast tracked her when she was in charge of the academy, joined the club at the age of eight. Had the athletic ability early on, she was a keen runner. Bon Pastor pushed her up a couple of age groups and made a mix with the older players. Getting a chance in the first team now. Throwing doesn't go Dieli's way. Kashui's <laughs> throw. Marashan. Out of way by Batcher, but not very far. Baltimore. Leon with an injury issue here. I've been a few of them tonight. There's a gradual fall down there. Not really sure what Kadisha Buchanan has hurt. Slight arm injury there, perhaps. Painful one. She just wanted to go off at this corner, that's for sure. PSG corner, Baltimore high, but a infringement spotted there by the referee. Of course, PSG need the win to secure the title tonight, but overall, Lyon don't have a bad record. By my counting in the last couple of days, they've won just 227 of their last 242 matches. They have been some force over the last decade and more in French football. Free kick here for the away side. Sarah, 
Buwadi trying to organise those in front of it. Bachmann standing over this one as the right-footed option, but it's Dabritz who puts it in there. Renard unsurprisingly away. Maroni. Baltimore, the two combining once more. Baltimore. Better ball in this time, Bachmann was there. At the far post, ready and waiting to pounce for PSG. Couple of blocks in there. Heat is on here in Lyon. Between these two rivals in what is the classic in France in women's football. PSG against Marseille in the men's game. It's always about the rivalry between these two. Who's in PSG blue, trying to get warm. Keeping themselves ready. And the coach calls them. This is one thing that PSG win the title, winning this, but losing it could lose them the title. It's on such a knife edge. Macario offside. Shuafni actually made his first appearance in Ligue 1 as a player in August 1996, up against Lyon, when he replaced former Republic of Ireland striker Tony Cascarino, who is no relation, by the way, of Delphine of Lyon here tonight. Baltimore into Bachman. Duhadi collects. Another injury. Signe Brun, who we haven't seen too much of this evening. Looking to become a title winner in France. He's twice won the Danish league before with Fortuna Hjuring. A reminder once again of how things look at the top of the Division 1 table. Earlier in the season, it's worth pointing out, finished 1-0 to PSG against Lyon. They've been top since that game. PSG didn't sit back, they won the battle in central midfield. And a single goal, ten minutes into the contest from... Marie Antoinette Katota got the, the invaluable three points. Brun in pain, but she'll rejoin. Away by Lawrence. Strong, but fair challenge, which put Gayoro down. She <laughs> Lawrence with that throw. Still, it remains goalless here at Peru Palmer Stadium. Just delaying the restart there. 
from Diacre in the house, unsurprisingly, the France coach. Nina Paredes cautions. Well, the part that she played in that. A nice give and go. Trying to force her way through there is Kashui. No VAR in the women's top flight in France, by the way. Gianni. Bachman. Renard shut that door. You cannon away to Henri. Nice to turn. Kashui couldn't get a foot around that one. It's been a good old battle down that side between her and Ashley Lawrence at times. Asking for the penalty there. Lawrence with an arm across, but I think she'd have been fortunate to get it. Could well be a case of next goal, the winner. The way this game has been so far. Not much to pick between them. Have been just two goals in the last two league meetings between them. That's met in the final of the Coupe de France last season that Lyon won. That ended nil-nil after extra time in Auxerre. Surprisingly, there were three goals in the second leg of the Champions League back on the 18th of April as Paris Saint-Germain came from behind. That aside, it's a perhaps unsurprising scoreline so far. Getting the block in there is Debritz. Out by Paredes. Escarino wants it back quickly. Two thirds of this game now gone. Robinson knew that one wouldn't carry. Cascarino trying to pinch it back. Hardy claims of handball. Eventually struck by Sakina Kashui, but she looked for her first Leon goal there. She only found a PSG defender. Would have been harsh again. A call for handball. That can be assumed as an expected position of the arm. Baltimore not seeing too much of the ball right now as she battles for it on the far side. Now a chance for Debritz. Baltimore. Only Diani in the middle. Corner. 
This will be PSG's fifth of the game. Haven't made them count yet. Baltimore will try and change that statistic here. They need to keep the ball away from Renard, who's the free player in there. Paredes. Renard got a foot to it. And wide he goes. What a chance that was there for Signe Brut, who asks for the corner. But does she have herself to blame? She wriggled free of her marker. And that had to at least go on target. She got it all wrong. Chances aren't gifted to you that often with Lyon. Brun wasting that opportunity. What a turn that is. Wonderful skill. Lawrence behind Brun. That was a late one. Quite worthy of a yellow card, but a free kick nevertheless. And there is going to be a change here for PSG. Jordan Quitema is going to be introduced, the Canadian. The next break in play. Moroni. Well, that was what was intended, but nearly worked out there for PSG. And it still might. Good play. Well taken away by Buchanan. from Enla, given her high standards. Firm starting challenge from Marisha. So the change here, we'll see Signe Brun taken off. Forward for forward with Huitema coming on. They're 20 years old, the Canada International. <laughs> Certainly well appreciated, someone who has amassed over 1.3 million followers on Instagram. <laughs> From a sporting family as well, their brothers are professionals in football and ice hockey. Keeping the family tradition going here in the top flight in France. Peter on as a sub here, looking to make an impact in the final quarter of this game. Mascarino's ball in. Macario was trying to turn. Macario. Ambitious, ineffective. <laughs> Has been frantic. Opportunities have been at a premium. And maybe where against lower opposition you may get time and space to send that shot towards goal. Macario didn't have it against the league leaders. Who come forward here, Diani, Baltimore is in there, Diani! A golden chance for Paris Saint-Germain. They'd worked the opportunity brilliantly. Baltimore was screaming out for it to be hit in her direction in the middle. Buadi, keen as ever to come off her line and nullify the threat. Nil nil it may be, but there have been openings at each end. Oh, 
Lawrence with a crunching challenge. Advantage play. Cascadino. Paredes with a block. Leon with a player down. Was that handball? It's not a head injury. Referee right to continue, but sporting as PSGR, even against their big, big rivals, they're happy to put that one out. And there will be a card to follow. Lawrence will go into the book. Well, that's a yellow card. We may as well all pack up and go home because that was a fine challenge. This was the chance for PSG. Diani Baltimore screaming out for it. The ball didn't reach it. And she could have gone for Cole, really, given the goalkeeper's position. I don't think she would have expected Bouadi to be that far away from her line. Leon, meanwhile, looking to profit themselves. What a terrible ball from Cascarino, who put it into the right area. Just signed a new three-year deal with the club. Teasing one in there. Just too much weight on it in the end. Baltimore, Bachman, and again, that's nicely played. Bachman, can she beat Renard? Well away there by Bachet. Dudek, not taking any chances there. Hedda Hegerberg watching on from the stand there. She would love to be involved in this one here tonight. To try and give her side a lift. Of course, she's been top scorer in four of the last five. Uh, sorry. In each of the last five years, she's joined top score with Summit a few years back, but her goals have been crucial in recent times. And her teammates are about to switch things up with a double change in a few moments. It's going to be the introduction here of Saki Kumagai. First, Melvi Mala for Delphine Cascadino. And Kumagai on for Kashui. That's been a slightly different shape at times for Leon tonight. With a wing back system when they've been attacking. That's a nice turn. Can they get the ball over here? It's a free cross in, but. Christian Endler was also in the right place to take that. Diani. Losing out. Again, that ball wrapped around the side of the PSG back line. Seems to be the ball they wanted to go for, Leon, at times tonight. A reminder that although a point won't do anything tonight, the 
that uh, point for PSG at least, which will go a long way to securing the title. Guerra is trying to turn, she was caught. Olivier Ishuafli preparing a change here of his own. Huitema already on. But now I can't get there. Baltimore can. But they flag is up for offside. So here comes the change. It will be Alana Cook to come on for Paulina Dudek. He doesn't appear to be injured. She's actually playing for Leon's sister club, Rain, on loan in Seattle last season. Cook comes on for a 20th league appearance. Quite break here for Leon. Still a chance, but again, not caught cleanly there. And straight down the throats of Christian Endler. Baltimore. Can't emphasize enough how big a goal is at this point for either side. Baltimore. Backman denied by Renat. Moroni trying to get a ball back in play here. Gero gets away with that one. All in again. Enla able to come and take it. <laughs> Saki Kumagai, by the way, who came on for Leon a short while ago. It's her penultimate game for the club. She's joining Bayern Munich next season. The winner here against PSG back in November 2019. The last time the two sides met here in the league. I wonder what Leonardo's thinking right now. Team has been his responsibility in the last year. Diani. PSG have a player over here in Baltimore. Puitema wants it. She checks her run. Bloody there. This game starting to open up a little bit now.
Leon Pro, Henri quick to take it. Mashri. Lawrence Clear. So nothing between them here, the two sides of the top of the table. Trying to turn. It was always going to be a tricky task there for Melvin Mala, the 20 year old Henri. Again, didn't get the purchase on the ball required. Come a guy. Diani trying to get the better of Batcher, who's done really well. And the youngster wins the free kick. Both sides heading towards a rare draw right now. PSG remember have won their last 18 matches in succession in the league. You can see the introduction here of Yanis Kaiman, the Belgian attacking midfielder. Ellie Carpenter making way. See how that changes their shape. PSG throw. Free kick here for Leo. Brave going in for the header there was Henri. She gets a reward. Can Leon get the ultimate reward? Two player wall. Delivery needs to be good, it's Renard, who heads it down and taken away from the goalkeeper. Though the flag was up for offside in any case, after Renard's flick on. She did well to climb. The flag up against Buchanan, I think he must have been. Oh, Renard, in fact, I beg your pardon, who was offside in the first phase. Nadine Nadim is going to come on for Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, the backman will make way. Time for Manchester City, Nadine Nadim. Ten goals she's got so far this season. Number 11 would be oh so sweet right now. It's a very good record overall, though. 21 in 34 league appearances since joining. Lawrence. PSG throw. Reminder that if the A League is your thing, then we've got live coverage tomorrow morning from 10 o'clock. Western United against MacArthur there is an early start on 1 HD. Notts County against Chesterfield. Saturday, 3.30 in the National League playoffs at the quarter final stage on 2 HD from Meadow Lane. That's not to get themselves back into the EFL. Likewise, these two, Hartlepool against Bromley. Two o'clock at coverage starts next Sunday on 3HD from Victoria Park. A pivotal eight minutes in this division uh, season coming up here. 
Now is the time for concentration. If you cannot win it, do not lose it. Certainly from PSG's point of view, Leon really need to commit resources forward, but of course at the same time, risk conceding and throwing it all away. It is finely balanced. And a game that was meant to be played earlier on this calendar year, postponed due to a COVID outbreak, could not have been scheduled at a more interesting time. Everyone in the French women's game, and of course across the world as well, such as the coverage these days, watching on with great interest. Jean-Michel Olas does not want to see the fine record his club have disappear to PSG. Play challenge there. And Pearl Moroni, who's had a good evening. It'd be interesting to see the reaction from the PSG players if it does stay as a goalless draw. Mary Antoinette Katoto. 90 goals in 92 appearances she has. She could have made the difference tonight. She could have wrapped it up. And oh, so sweet it would have been here at Lyon. Is there to be a late twist? From this cross, there won't be. It was deflected. Mendy that was, by the way, watching on one of the assistants for Paris Saint-Germain. On time, Bolton and Hull player in the English top flight in the men's game. He finished his career playing in India a few years back. He's been the assistant since 2017 of Parisia. Crucial minutes left. Clear. Pull back there by Moroni. Nadine there, who we're going to be seeing plenty of this summer. She's been signed up to be a pundit on English TV this summer for coverage of the European Championships. Player who has one very interesting backstory. Those who maybe don't follow the women's game as closely as others born in. Afghanistan. Her dad, a military general, was killed. The family were smuggled out of the country to Pakistan. Fake passports and documents got them as far as Italy. They boarded a truck or lorry that what they thought or hoped was going to be to London ended up in Denmark. Now a Danish international. 
Jane has had quite the tale to tell. I'm sure she'll... That's a very good book one day. Leon corner towards Renard. Again, a towering presence in the air. Not the greatest follow up. They can get the ball to it. They can generally create something, Leon, but PSG are the only team in the whole division yet to concede from a set piece this season. Guerra doing really well to wriggle away from plenty of attention around her. Moroni. DNA out there. Free kick. Need this challenge really by Jenny Skamer. Probably about five minutes left, including added time. Renard was caught. Sadly, at the moment, it looks like it's going to be a game that promised much and has really delivered little. So for fans of PSG, it's probably not about the wider spectacle, it's about the result they get, and a draw may be enough for the title next week. As they host Dijon up in the capital. Final 60 seconds of normal time. Leon have won every game here this season, conceding just four goals. After this now, Huitema. Possession, the name of the game. Goal kick. Into added time. Four minutes to be added here. Now, can Leon snatch it late here? They can't, it's taken away by Alana Cook. You get the feeling there could be one big chance left in this one now. And this might be it. Well pushed away by Endler, who was fouled. She was caught. That ball bobbling across the PSG penalty area. We will have had plenty of fans with their hearts in their mouths. Endler with hands on it, and in the end, caught on the head there, just about. A painful one for her.
Only the winner of the league gets into the group stage of the Champions League as well. It'll be a further tie for whichever team of these finishes in second. Bordeaux, the team sitting in third. Sonia Bonpastor looking like she's going to drop points for the first time. Doesn't look as though the title will be won tonight for PSG. But at this point, we'll push them as close to it as they've ever been. What's a chance here? This is an opportunity for Leon, but the whistle has gone from the referee. For the first time tonight, the ball hits the back of the net, but an offside flag means the goal from Melvin Mallard will not count. Let's see how close it was. Not very. Good composure, though to finish it off, but frustration ultimately. And she was beyond that last defender. <laughs> last chance territory now. Baltimore. Can they work it wide here? It doesn't quite reach the feet of Nadia Nadim. Leon perhaps with one last breakup. And they have the pace here. Mala, Rena in there. Away by Paredes. Rena. Thrown forward here in these last stages. Maraja, corner, and this is it now. The title race might come down to this. I'm not sure PSG have the chance to break at the other end and score themselves, but if Leon score, they're on the verge of glory. The goalkeeper up there. It's towards her, away it goes, and away the chance goes for Lyon, and perhaps the title for Paris Saint-Germain. A nil-nil scoreline for Paris Saint-Germain in the box seat going into the final weekend of games. A match of few clear-cut chances, a nil-nil draw means PSG are on the verge of a first-ever French league title.